Hello everyone, and this is Black Cobra striking into Sid Meier's Civilization 5. And you're thinking to yourselves, good gravy, this is not Civilization 5. You're right, this is Civilization 5, Gods and Kings. Now you're asking, you're probably thinking to yourself, my god, you're a madman. You're right, I am. But there's one, and I repeat, one addition to this series. This series is not taking over my other series in Civilization V, the original. The Romans. Alright, let's get ready. Alright, single player. Load. No. Back. Set up game. There we go. Alright, now, uh, um, according to Antonio Gonzalez, not Antonio, Antoine Gonzalez, there are newer, newer civilizations, so, as you can see, I will take you through almost every single one. There's Attila the Hun, Scrounge of the God, Scrounge of the Gold, yeah, right there. There's, a uh, Bundaka, the Celtics, the Druidic Lore, yes. She is a woman. Alright? I had the same mistake too. Thought she was a man. Sad mistake. There is Dido of Carthage. Yes. These are this is the same empire that tried to conquer Rome with these giant elephants. As you can see here, one of the special units is African Forest Elephant. Uh Gustavus Adolphus. He's 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 fun to say. That's my favorite name out of every single one. Is my favorite name to use. Uh, he's Swedish. Hale Selassie, Ethiopia. Uh, give me a minute. Isabella of Spain. Maria Teresa of Austria. And there's Pekal, the Mayan. Yes, the same the same civilization that came up with the theory that the world was gonna end. And then there's William, the Netherlands. Now, out of every single one, I am going to choose. Hmm. Genghis Khan, Keshik, and a Khan. Don't really like using horses. But I am going to choose a, n a new person. I'm going to go with Attila the Hun. So we're gonna set up. We're gonna go with uh, Earth. We're gonna go with a uh, small or tiny. We'll go with tiny. We'll keep it at Warlord. Game standard. Paint. No, that's good. Go advanced setup. Uh, eight city states is fine. Map size tiny. And we'll make it bigger than it's supposed to be. We'll make it large. No, we'll make it standard. Ooh. Oops. I changed something. Uh, tiny. Game pace is standard. Our right. Warlord Ancient Era. Max turns. That will be nothing. All right. Start game. Your men stand proudly to greet you, Great Attila, Grand Warrior and Ruler of the Hunnic Empire. Together with your brother Blader, you expanded the boundaries of your empire, becoming the most powerful and frightening force of the 5th century. You bowed the Eastern Roman emperors to your will and took kingdom after kingdom along the Danube and Nisava rivers. As the sovereign ruler of the Huns, you marched your army across Europe into Gaul, planning to extend your already impressive lands all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Your untimely death led to the quick disintegration and downfall of your empire. But your name and deeds have created an everlasting legacy for your people. Fearsome General, your people call for the recreation of a new Hunnic Empire, one which will make the exploits and histories of the former seem like the faded dreamings of a dying son. Will you answer their call to regain your rightful prominence and glory? Will you mount your steadfast steed and lead your armies to victory? Will you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Alright, after that great introduction, now we have to begin this journey. Alright, 
So we got some gems. We got some citrus. That's uh, that's pretty good. Oh, till us caught. Oh, ancient ruins have been discovered. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're gonna build a monument. We're gonna have to build uh, some pottery so we can get some granary and we can get a shrine going. Next turn. All right, let's just get this land. Is that a pig? No, that's truffles. Truffles. Or... What I get. You have found cardinal artifacts with your all your citizens. You have received twenty culture. <gasps> Yay! Next turn. I may adopt a policy already. Yay! Uh, let's go with um tradition. Yeah, tradition works. Close. And now we're gonna start moving. Next turn. Lord of two of the Huns. Let's start moving, moving, moving. Um, yeah, other than, like, um, this new stuff, they have, like, new features and, like, new stuff, like, um, like the trifle, the truffles, and the citrus. They have all new lux luxury resources, um, yeah, like that, and then they have new units, too, but that'll come later once we start advancing into the game, sooner or later. Just like once we start moving into this and like once we start building momentum like we did last time. Oh, more ruins. Cool. Let's hope that we have this. Um, Let's hope we can get a, uh, a unit upgrade. Oh. oh, look at that. We get to adopt another policy. Sweet. Legalism provides a free culture building in your first four cities. All right. Autocracy, um, oh, aristocracy, 15% protection when you're building wonders, uh, oligarchy, garrisoned units, cost no maintenance, uh, let's go with the legalism, and we'll close that, oh, that's a made, uh, a sh uh, the monument's made, we'll make a, uh, granary for right now. Gotta choose a new research, so we're gonna go with a, um, oh, look at that, a whole bunch has been opened up for me. I'm gonna go with archery, just because my military advisor told me to, and I'm gonna move on to that ancient ruins. I received a five gold, ooh, more gold, cool, and now I'll move over to the salt. Oh, barbarians. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, looks like they're, they're 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 making a fire. Oh, look at that. Oh, city state city state borders. We found a city state. Zanzaba. They're mercantile. They're neutral with us. They have incense, porcelain, and gold. All right, all right. I can see where you guys are coming from. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's keep moving. Oh, more ruins. Amazing. We got this whole thing wrapped up right now, don't we? Uh, let's hope it's another. Let's hope that it's not just more useless gold. Because right now I don't really want that much gold. Right now. All I want. Oh, it's grown. Until this court has grown. Right now, all I want is those ancient ruins. All right, come on, unit upgrade, unit upgrade. Oh, there we go, unit upgrade. Oh, and it's a battering ram. Yes. All right, guys. Well, you've seen the introduction. You've seen how good the game is. Let's just get a close-up on this. Yep, that's what the battering ram looks like. It's quite amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I think so too. It's a Hunnic battering ram. Now, this is the last time. Now, 
this isn't the last of you heard you heard of me. I have I still have to do a lot more videos for this. We're just starting out with Civilization 5, Gods vs. Kings, Gods and Kings, and then we'll have more videos for you in Civilization 5 with the Roman Empire. Now, this is Black Cobra taking a little back step from Civilization 5, Gods and Kings. Thank you and goodbye.